All right, guys, so uh, today we're going to be going over some of the problems that people have with the uh, 3D printed high points. Uh, things from just the trigger not wanting to work to the sear just not grabbing at all. Uh, so I already knocked this pen out of the back because the one that came with my, or one didn't come with my parts kit. So i just been using this uh, roll pen, not exactly too sure what one it is because that Harbor Freight's kit, I cut it down so that the slide could you know, clear it and it just goes in where I've got the uh, Allen wrench right now. Uh, that's what I use to pop that out of the moment. But a lot of people have a problem where they just can't get it to work. That sear just won't grab for some reason or like the sear will grab but the trigger just is dead. Uh, so we'll go over some of those issues. Let me switch over to my other camera real quick. Alright, so start by pulling the slide off. Now, when your sear is not grabbing, the uh, problem typically is, is that this could either be in backwards, your actual sear is in backwards, or it's not coming high enough. So I don't know if you can see about how high that actually sits. I mean, that bar is, and wants to sit over the top of the receiver a little bit. Just knock that, the camera off. Uh, what you can do is you can pull this out, uh, pull that spring out too, it's still in there. Uh, and use some can can pieces of can to shim it up, uh, give it that extra height. Uh, sometimes if you remove the support with like a drill bit, you might have gone too far, or you know, you just have some expansion in weird areas, and it's just, the hole's too deep. The thing is, you see this little plastic piece right there? So that's what this cam pivots on to pull this down. Uh, depending on how well you printed it, that can break off, I mean, first dry fire. It's, like you see, it's just a little bit of plastic that's printed. Uh, one thing you can do is you can just file that area off, take, I mean, any piece of metal, like you cut down a fucking Allen wrench, heat it up, push it in there, uh, and give yourself a metal pivot. That's one of the things that work. Or what I do is I just print it, you know, 0.12 millimeter layer height, and it comes out great every time. I've got well over 150 rounds on this frame. Uh, the last one made it to about 500, I think, before I just replaced it, because I had been throwing it around and beating it and finally was able to get that piece to break. Uh, and then I always print, you know, up. But I mean, depending on how well tuned your machine is, like, there are some of these inevitable problems because it's, I mean, it's a fine, thin piece of plastic. Uh, another thing is, a lot of people have problems with the mag release. Uh, I would download the no point file that I have on my on my key base, that is a, uh, you know, I, that's one of the issues that I tried to solve. Same thing with uh, these screws. They just, the hole was squared off and the screws are squared. So like they don't want to bite into there and people have problems with stripping that. The panel's always sitting loose. That can cause the trigger not to work too because I mean, the panel's literally what holds the trigger together. Like without it, it can, fall apart even with it like I was able to pull that off of there because I had to slide off it's I mean it's important that it all fits together tight uh, if you've just been trying the low point files I would try my uh, the no point and then the only thing is I've had pro people say like the barrel pin just doesn't work right uh, Again, I can't remember if this was a pen that I just used because my parts kit didn't come with it. It also didn't come with a uh, mag release button. I don't know why I have bad luck with parts kits. Uh, I got one. I don't use it because if you grab the thing left-handed, you you hit, it and that's annoying as hell. It's having it just that little bit lower helps, and then it's still easy to drop the mag. So yeah, uh, I tried the no point file. There might be some filing that you need to do on the back of the slide, just depending on your machine. Uh, but most of the time, it seems like you'll have to do a little bit of filing, and that lets you get that bag. You know, 
as tight as you need it to be. Uh, and then there's also just little things, so like this doesn't want to pull all the way through and whatnot. Uh, you guys have any other problems, just let me know. Uh, we can possibly talk about those too. But, update, I kind of have a parts kit. I've got some of the stuff for a uh, the big point. I'll finally get one of those together, hopefully soon. Uh, this parts kit wasn't complete. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be complete. It was actually a little bit more complete than they were advertising it. So that was good. But I'm still trying to keep this build price under 100 bucks for that thing. So I don't have a firing pin or firing pin spring. I might end up having to make one out of a duplex nail. Uh, so I mean, as you can see, that's basically the shape of these oh, fuck, firing pins see down in there that firing pen it's basically just a duplex nail that's shaped I should be able to make one out of it well we'll just have to see so uh take it easy you guys stay safe and if you need to uh, find me on keybase let me just uh, see if I can pull that up real quick and show you So here's my key base. I am Fritos Brito over there, or Frito Britos over there. A uh, bit different than here on uh, YouTube, but you should still be able to find me pretty easy. Uh, if you're looking for my files, you gotta, you know, go to my public folder. Oh shit, wrong person. Uh, and in here I got the no point oil filter adapter. Uh, this is actually a SIG P2. 250, uh, but it won't let you make a folder called P250 for some reason, so it's just 320. Uh, no point beta files, and then just other gun references for anyone who, you know, wants it. If you're looking for, like, the plans for, like, the revolver I built, that's here in Professor Parabellum, and that is the DIY 38 caliber revolver. Uh, I just bored it out for 22, and then you know, plenty of other plans here from a few different, uh, you know, gun designers, Bill Holmes, Professor Parabell, MPA, Ludi, you know, the good ones. So, uh, thank you guys. I'm excited where this is going. Uh, almost a thousand subscribers, which is pretty cool. Uh, I mostly, when I first, you know, started YouTube, I was just planning to, uh, you know, host that my home built revolver video on there for the gun at rest contest and you know people took interest which surprised me so I've just been keeping up with it and now we are so uh you know if you guys are still more interested let me know I'll make more videos like this and uh yeah have a good one